So I'll be here with the Genia Tech. Hello. Hello. So who are you? Uh, this is Anna from Genia Tech. I'm the overseas sales. And right here you have a Android TV, a real Android TV. Yeah, sure. We have two models to be uh, Google certified. So this is the little Android TV box with the 905X, right? Yes, sure. And this is a bigger one with a tuner. Yes. So this is the only Android TV with a, a TV tuner, right? Yeah, I think so. Cool. And available now? Yes, they are already made product. So this is the 905D tuner yes, solution? Yes, with tuner. And let's check it out uh, here on the TV. So uh, it's the UI is uh, the proper Android TV UI. Yes, that's uh, all the applications special designed for Android TV. Nice. And uh, what version of Android you can do? Uh, also, we have designed the special remote. As you can see, it, is, it will support Google Assistant. Nice. With this little speaker icon. And this is a 7.1 right now? Yes, and we are uh, going to pass uh, Android 8. Android also. 8 support? Yes. Nice. So this is the, what is the name uh, of this and the other one? Uh, you can see there? Yeah, sure. So it's the... ATV 495 uh, Max. Yeah. Uh, four, 495 Max. And, and uh, this one with tuner is ATV 598 Max. And it has a DVB-T2. Yeah, it will support DVB-T2 and ATSC. And it has a very fast Wi-Fi. Yes. Android 8 will come. Yes. And voice search. Yes. And you also have the smaller ones. Yes, they are going to be a certification. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's really cool little 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 stick. Yeah, thank and, uh, you. So there's... Because before you had a... A stick like this, right? But this yes. is the old version, the yes, old yes. design. Yeah, HDMI dongle. So you you will make a slightly different one. Yeah. And, uh, you also have some other uh, product around here. You're doing some IoT stuff right yes, here. Yes, those are for uh, those are the gateway product for smart home. You know, smart home is uh, become uh, popular and popular. So it just goes in the plug in the wall. Yeah. And then you open uh, oh, the antennas right here. Yes. Built in. And um, and this is doing the IoT. Yes. Right here. And this is a slightly different IoT. Yes. With a TV. All right. So it's very busy in the Geniatic office? Yeah, sure. <laughs> very busy. OK. Cool. This is new board you have right here. Yeah, it's based on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820. That is a SOM system on module, as well as an, a carry board. So, uh, how does it connect? Uh, this like a system like you can plug it in and out. Yes, because of the the CPU board is a 12 layers, uh, and the carry board only need the four layers. So we do the. Uh, system on a module as well as, as well as uh, the carry board can have the flexibility to, to develop a different kind of a connectivity. Can you disconnect it to show? You no. can sure. You plug out? Uh, a little bit. But uh, can do. So uh, it's, it's like powerful, right? Yeah. Well, what are all these connectors you have right here? Oh, um, MIPI DSI and MIPI CSI. Uh, PCIe, USB 3, uh, GPIO, I square C, serial port, a lot of uh, connectivity here. All right. So um, a, a customer could could take just this board uh, and plug it into any kind of like robotic project, uh, drone. What what would they do? Your typical customer? Yeah, and, and uh, because of the CPU is very powerful, so they they can use this board. For the smart camera, for the AI, for the machine video, for the um, face recognition, a lot of applications. So do you have a lot, strong demand for that? Yeah, more and more. And uh, um, the 820 has a long-term support, like 10 years or? Uh, they plan to have at least seven years. And uh, it's a big deal that you have this, right? It's, I should say it's very hard to develop this this uh, this one, um, but uh, we make it. Because there's so many layers? 
um, because of layers, because of the drivers, uh, because of a lot of uh, connectivities, and also the, the speed is very high, the power consumption is also high, so it's a big challenge for us. But you got all the low, low power, high power, what's it? What's uh, yeah, it's uh, low speed, uh, low speed? connectors and the high speed connector that uh, follow the 96 uh, 96 bores um, from factor and uh, how about what's the cluster of stuff over here oh that is a PMSE power management all right and you also do the Qualcomm 410 right yeah that's the older product and the 6 610 uh, not 610 6, uh, 625, 625. We, are, we are considering all right but uh, this is much higher performance than 410, right? The 820. Yes. Like double? Because 410 to 820, it sounds like double. Uh, more than that. More, more than, than that. that. Yeah. So powerful, powerful jump. And uh, with the LPDDR4 supporting for all these things, Windows 10, IoT, uh, Linux. For sure that uh, Android and the Linux uh, are supported. And the Windows 10 IoT uh, seem to be uh, like uh, we like to support that. All right, and here you have a Rockchip 3399. Yeah, that is another board. Uh, but uh, what we uh, make a difference that is uh, we we have HDMI input as well as we put the power or PoE on board. That is a power over Ethernet. Nice. What is this chip? Ah, that's transformer. And um, so this is a powerful uh, uh, ARM Cortex A72 Exa Core. Yeah, it's, it's great for multimedia. Uh, yeah, great for uh, multimedia and AI. Um, it, good. Uh, the good thing is uh, the cost is not that high, so it's a reasonable cost as well as uh, provide a uh, high performance. How is the driver support on this one? All the all the the software is well supported and open source. Uh, open source for Linux and uh, also Android is uh, supported. All right. And uh, here you're showing the NXP. Yeah. Uh, because of uh, NXP, they have a lot of um, uh, CPU with the longevity and the same same CPU package. They can support dual core, quad core, and a single core. And we make this module. Um, based on the Q7 form factor and with the carrier board as well. So this is the main focus uh, for the longevity applications, especially uh, for Linux. And this also has Windows 10 IoT. Yeah, that's the big thing. So uh, Microsoft, they are just nearby, uh, announced that they, they, they are supporting uh, IMS 6 and IMS 7 for Windows IoT. A big deal. It's Why do people deal. want to work so much with Windows IoT? Uh, first is uh, the license is free, or nearly free. Uh, the second is uh, there are a lot of um, existing uh, Windows applications, and they want to move to um, a low power consumption uh, platform, non-Intel based platform, especially ARM based. Now the Microsoft uh, opened the door. And it has a good connection with the Azure. Yes. People want to work on that, the Azure. That is uh, another advantage as well. All right. And this is another IMX. It's uh, IMX7. It's just uh, baked. So this is a, what is this kind of board? This kind of board is, uh, uh, we designed that for, uh, for the gateway development board. It's, uh, we, Again, we have the SOM and the carry board, and a lot of uh, uh, low-speed uh, connectivity here. So for networking? Yeah, it, it doesn't have any display. Headless solutions? Yeah, headless, um, headless uh, gateway solutions. But when people do headless, they have to trust that everything's working. Uh, definitely. So the, that's why uh, we, we have so many uh, debugging ports. So you know what's going on while you're developing and deploying stuff. Yeah. Uh, this. this is an entry-level gateway with power adapter inside, outside. 
So for easy uh, IoT uh, system, this kind of uh, gateway is very useful to hook up to Zigbee devices or Zwave LoRa devices and connect to the uh, internet by uh, uh, Ethernet or Wi-Fi. So you do part of the LoRa and Zigbee uh, IoT space. Yeah. Uh, as a gateway. Yeah. All right. Um, and this is using a MTK. Yeah. Um, for the console reason. And it's, uh, it's enough for such kind of application. All right. The last one. Yeah. This is a very heavy one. It's um, AM logic based set a box with a four HDMI input and the one HDMI output. Uh, all the input and output are 4K capable. Well, uh, so how, what, what kind of AmLogic chipset? Uh... It's uh, based on AmLogic T962E. And so this one runs Android and does all this in and out? Yeah, run the Android and uh, the Android application uh, can do the picture in picture from the HDMI input and uh, we have an API for switching the input. And what kind of users are using so many HDMI's? Oh, uh, mainly we design this product uh, for um, commercial use, for for example like a digital signage. So people want to have many displays? Uh, many uh, video source and drive one display or they merge the different kind of uh, uh, different kind of source, uh, do the overlay, picture in picture, etc. And you have a lot of embedded products, so your customers are, um, are asking for more and more all the time, so you just make more and more? Yeah, we know that um, based on IoT world, that a lot of um, makers, a lot of startups, so they need to start from the scratch uh, developer board, and then eventually they need more and more, and then uh, finally they need the mass production from, uh, from us, so we need to provide a full line of a product line, as, as well as a lot of service. And you have a lot of different chipsets supported, like more than ever. Yeah, um, because of uh, the demand is from uh, every, uh, anywhere, so we, we must fulfill the demands uh, with a different kind of chipsets. So what are we looking at here, for example? Uh, this one is from NSP, that is uh, IMS6. So we make a smart SOM, smart SOM, and then we make a carrier board. And what you do the 2HDMI? Uh, in and out. In and out, uh, SOM solution, carrier board, and you have a, another uh, IMX solution? Yeah, Th this one, IMX7. Uh, also as a SOM, or what is this board on top here? Yeah, it's a SOM. We defined it by ourselves. And what does this one do? There's, there's no, H no HDMI? Uh, is yeah. this for IoT? Yeah, it's purely for IoT, for for IoT gateway, and also for some uh, uh, smart audio, those kind of solution. All right, and then uh, right here you have Rockchip. Yeah, this is a uh, Rockchip three three nine nine. So that's a uh, quite pow the most powerful Rockchip. Yeah, so far. And uh, so what? There's a lot of things going on on this board. Yeah. Uh, we we have also Hello. HDMI in and out. Yeah. Can you show around the ports and everything? Yeah. So this HDMI in and out on a Rock Chip 339. Yeah. There's uh, uh, also we have PoE on board. Uh, PoE. Uh, power over Ethernet. All right. And there's uh, audio jacks. That is uh, that is standard. And uh, we have a, um, a battery for RTC. So, uh, what kind of uh, this is not a, this not for set the box, right? Uh, no, it's a, it's a very strong platform for developing different kind of um, uh, application, especially using using the high performance of the CPU. All right, and uh, what are we looking at over here? Uh, this is a very the small one. Yeah, this one based on. Qualcomm Snapdragon 410. That uh, may be um, one of the smallest uh, module SOM based on 410. So that's your DB4? DB4? IoT. IoT? Yeah. The smallest board with a 410, uh, like a Dragon, like, like your uh, development Dra board. Yeah. 
but uh, this one also have Wi-Fi, dual band Wi-Fi on board. All right, it's popular. A lot of people want to do projects with this. Uh, special project only. Special project, right? And uh, here's this is lots of HDMI. That, that is a, a box with a HDMI in and out. Four HDMI in and one HDMI out. That is for special user case for for the digital signage. All right. And the TV tuner as well. Not based on the AmLogix um, uh, TV chipset. Uh, which one? T962E. So it's uh, one of the advanced ones? Um, one of them. One of, uh, one of the ones. Because uh, AmLogix always comes with new stuff also. Yeah. They have um, uh, something announced recently was a. Uh, um, what do you call it? The, uh, the Nile 5 X2. X2? Yeah, X2. What does it mean, the X2? Uh, they have a HEVC encoder. Encoder? Encoder. Do you have something going on with that? Yeah, we are waiting for the chipset. Is right. The chipset will come out end of April. Alright. And uh, you will have 820 solution too? Is this what it is? Yeah, this is... Uh, we just uh, bake it. Uh, not finished yet. That is um, a Snapdragon N820. Is it the same size as this one? <laughs> Not the same size, but uh, it's a smaller size. So this is a two boards. So this uh, maintained that uh, uh, the form factor like a 96 board. Because they announced here uh, 820 uh, was a Qualcomm. Uh, that was a new announcement, right? But it's slowly becoming available, right? Yeah, they, they, have, a, uh, they have a N20e that has a longevity All for right. several years. So you're definitely in the embedded market to stay in it and do a lot of more things in the embedded. Yeah, yeah, we like uh, we like uh, this market. So how about these? What is this? Those two are not set box. This is a gateway with um, 3G LTE as well as Wi-Fi and uh, Zigbee, VRE, and the battery powered. That is a very powerful gateway based on a Qualcomm chipset then uh, can hook up all the sensors and then s submit the data to the cloud by um, LTE so connectivity. Which, which Qualcomm chipset? Uh, it's um, entry level one, it's uh, 8909. And uh, uh, so this is a gateway for what kind of market? The special IoT market? Or? Yeah, for special market, uh, IoT market. Uh, the, especially for somewhere that the broadband is not there. All right, and what is this one? This is a um, home use entry level uh, gateway with a um, power plug and with two external antenna for different kinds of RF. One for Zigbee, another for Wi-Fi. All right. So you, you're getting into the smart gateway IoT business. Yeah, it's a family. Also, you can see uh, this guy. These are sensor box. All right. For edge computing.